Hello everyone, we are back again with a new video today. This time is gonna be a little uh, tips and tricks kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to set up your joysticks if you have joysticks and what what is the best, um, in my opinion, what is the best mods that you can use for uh, forestry. And um, yeah, let's dive into it. I am, you know, using uh, a few, you know, mods that are very very uh, close to you know the reality because in the game uh farming simulator is very close to you know uh, movement of the machinery uh you know in terms of movement of the machine is very very close but uh the physics of the trees are not very good especially if you don't have a good machine uh i i talk about <laughs> PC, not about uh, mod. So, if you don't have good uh, computer, you're gonna experience uh, a lot of, you know, uh, when you grab the tree and when you squeeze them a lot, they're stuck, start to be a little, you know, bumpy and they're jumping around and kind of vibrating around, which is not very good experience. And sometimes you maybe you may see one of my videos uh that also happened when one tree just flew away so um there are a lot of stuff that you you should know if you want to you know get the maximum experience of the game if you don't want to you can just use wherever mouse keyboard or i think i think i said everything that i wanted to say so now i'm gonna set up the camera I'm going to show you what to do, how to do it, you know, how to set up your joysticks and I'm going to show you uh, what, uh, which mods I prefer to use. You already saw a lot of stuff, you know, on my channel, but I'm going to show you which head is the best for, you know, for you know for uh, processing for for logging for everything for all that kind of stuff forwarding whatever everything i'm going to show you everything in this video okay let's set up the camera right now okay guys everything is set up we have all of the machinery that i uh, prefer uh, working with them <coughs> uh, we're gonna buy one more you know processor just to show you why i don't like them um uh, i mean i prefer kumatsu this one but this is not the mode this is from the game um i prefer let me find it I have a lot of mods uh caterpillar is also very nice this one is also very nice for working with trees but i don't like it for a couple of reasons and right now I don't want to use it. I'm gonna show you my most favorite machinery that I prefer using uh, for, uh, especially when I want to create the best video possible. I'm gonna show you uh, my, uh, you know, what I prefer to work with. So this is the Komatsu that I prefer, and I prefer it because you can add a lot of, you know. Uh, customization to it you can tint the windows and all that kind of stuff you have good graphics blah 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 you can tint the windows you can uh, you can add you know uh, hood protection and all that kind of stuff um, where with the original one you have just this one you know that is one of the reasons, it's not just about customization, it's about uh, working with the machine. It's a lot more realistic to work with this machine. You know, this is the, uh, the mod that I'm going to show you right now. Um, I love working with lights on because you can see so much more. And this camera that you can see the seat it's a lot uh, it's very good because if you want to drive backwards you can see everything you know everything in the backwards so um it's not necessary to always switch cameras uh i mean it's not always uh, necessary to use the mouse so that is one of the uh, the reasons and the other reason that i prefer this machine is because 
you can just work so easily you know with the machine it's not uh, something that it's very very hard to do you know so let me just show you uh, let me show you the controls first so when you move uh, the left joystick on the right you move the cabin on the right when you move it to the left you move the entire cabin to the left and this is the uh, arm goes complete up you know this is the boom and down you know this is the movement that you have to have if you want to be as realistic as possible and you can also see when I set up this camera you know you see the joysticks when I move it it's moving in the same way you know everything is completely the same you know you see that and with the other joysticks uh, with the other joystick with the red uh, with the right one you see everything is completely the same so with this one you're mo moving the arm it goes complete down you know you're moving the uh, back side of the arm you know like this see and uh with the other joystick you're moving the front uh, you know the boom up and down and when you move it to the right it goes the it goes the extension and move it to the left the extension comes back up so um <coughs> let me show you how fast is actually uh doing this machine it's a lot uh, it's also very uh, so much better than the uh, machine from uh, fdr in my opinion again it, that this is my opinion so somebody can can say that uh, i don't like this machine it's, you know everyone has different uh, preparation it, this is just uh, i prefer this machine because to me it's easier to work with with the Komatsu but probably for you is gonna be way easier with the um, you know with uh, FDR machine or whatever caterpillar or whatever you know every machine has different character so you have to see what what works better for you so you can easily stack trees you know all of the logs with the Komatsu and for example if you're using i was trying very very hard to you know to work with the scorpion king which was uh in the in farm simulator 19 was my favorite um processor uh you know but in this game i think the kumatsu is so much better let me find the scorpion king here it is it's also a mod uh, you can use it as well but it's not that good and it's not that fast uh, I don't like using forwarders because they're very very expensive and they are not running very fast if I have to uh, use forwarder I'm just using uh, this truck it's you know way much uh, faster than the forwarder and it is uh, you know, it's uh, a little bit uh, cheaper for maintenance. So, uh, this uh, wood crusher from Jens, I'm not using them. Uh, I don't use this machine because it's way too expensive and it's not that efficient as the mod that they have. I'm going to show you. I was, I have a lot of videos with that uh, wood crusher, so uh who is uh for the guys who are watching regularly they're gonna know what i'm talking about uh let me find it here this machine so this wood crusher is very very good and uh what i love about this machine is that when you're cutting trees, uh, when you're, uh, you know, with your, when you're wood crushing, uh, when the tank is full, uh, the machine stops automatically. 
where you have a lot of uh, wood crushers that they're full but they're not stopping you know so you're losing material and ev uh, eventually you're gonna you know lose money from that i don't like using this grapple it's very very bad the physics of the trees with this grapple are not good and these grapples are also not very my favorite one is this one from lipia usually i'm painting in yellow or orange so i can see them better uh, you know when night operations or all that kind of stuff so you can see a lot better so let me show you the fdr logging so let me start with the volvo this is the smaller one they're uh, they're from platinum edition from farming simulator if you don't have it if you don't have the platinum edition that's fine guys you're not necessarily should buy this uh, dlc because it's not um it's not the best that you can work with you know so let me show you the difference between this volvo and this old old, old lip here okay lights on i and i prefer working from uh, interior camera cockpit camera go it wherever you like because um, from here you can see so much better and i am uh, you know turning the hood off so it, i can see even more that's why i have you know um, my tablet here so i can see all of the information that usually you you're seeing here so i can see it from here and i can work so much better you know i can see more especially when you have small you know uh, display like i had like i do and let me show you why this machine i don't like it but somebody someone someone maybe likes this one i don't know maybe some a uh, guy who is a huge fan of uh, Volvo machinery probably he is going to like it until he runs into uh, the problem where the grapple gets way too sticky so I just I'm just trying to show you but probably for now it's not gonna work let me turn off the lights yeah But the physics from this machine are also very good. If you know what are you doing, you're not gonna run into a uh, way too much problems, you know, with the machines. But then there might be someone who doesn't know what what they're doing, you know, so they're gonna have a little bit problems. So I will try to give maximum experience to everyone so I'm going to show you the difference between uh, the original grapple that comes with the Volvo and this one that is from Lipia with this one you can work so much faster you know you know that no nothing is going to happen you're not going to hit anything you're just way much faster, you know. And again, the physics with this grapple are, uh, in my opinion, much better. And my problem with this mod is that when you squeeze the trees right now, 
usually in real life one this tree in the middle is gonna either go down or up in our case it's not going anywhere which it's not fine so let me show you this one okay lights on so look now when you squeeze the trees the logs everything is just perfect you know there are no some kind of bumpy kind of stuff that you don't know what to do or you're just getting confused that you're probably a bad operator which probably is not the case so with this you know with this machine you're working just fine you're not getting any kind of lags or all that kind of you know disturbing stuff you see you're working just fine and you can uh, I can be way much faster with this machine you know if you want to uh, let's say uh, shoot a video that you're loading for example 30 trucks you can do it with this machine very very fast and FDR has all kind of you know uh, grapples by your likings you can use uh, this kind of grapple you know and it also also has very very good physics it's pretty realistic if uh, I have to be honest and FDR doesn't disappoint so you see you can grapple as many trees as you want and you can be very very fast with uh, all of them let's say you don't like this grapple so this is the logo from the FDR so he has also a forwarder and it's pretty big I have to say it's also not that expensive it's only 110,000 so uh, he has skidders he loves skidders he has boom skidder uh, this is uh, you know truck loader that you can also use it to you know for processor as well you can use this machine for processor he has a lot of machines he has Hitachi Eltec that he's partners with uh, so all that kind of crazy machines you can you have this pro pack uh, the limber and there are a lot of you know grapples uh, with this with this thing you can you know cut down trees that are very very big uh, there is no uh, there is nothing that you can cut down uh, giant sequoias okay because there are a lot of people interested in that kind of trees I love I love cutting them down because they're you know just huge, but <clears throat> uh, I think the game is gonna be so much fun. Uh, I know in real life they are forbidden, uh, you know, to uh, uh, from cutting down, but if you can make something uh, cut down that tree, is gonna be great. Only with the chainsaw you can cut it down and with the axe. So this is for uh, longer logs that are above 10 meters. And you can use pretty much uh, everything. This one, uh, uh, this grapple is with stabilizer. You can usually adjust some of the buttons of your joysticks. But if you, uh, you know, if you work with... Uh, uh, your mouse or let's say if you work without joysticks I'm not recommending the FDR uh, equipment because it's gonna be way too hard because this equipment are, is you control all I I mean all of the buttons of my joysticks are um, not enough to control all of them you know and I don't uh, use way too much machinery 
because uh, when you in the you know when you start with the game when you don't have a lot of money usually you're, you're not having way too much uh, money to spend so that that is why I'm you know used to not using way too much machinery and usually when I have the FDR mods um, you know equipment uh, I use his machinery because I think in my opinion this is the best machine that you can use uh, for forestry and logging and all that kind of stuff call it wherever you want but this machine has has it all I mean it's the best machine that you can use for everything and I love it because you have so much choice you know you can you can use it for everything and it's not so expensive where for example this machine in the front the Komatsu is almost half a million and this machine is 105, uh, 150,000 and with the grappler is almost 200 and if you want uh, you know the process head the processor head uh, i think he's 45,000 so for about 250,000 you have loading machine and you have processor and you, you need only one small truck and again FDR has it all he has a truck that costs a lot around I think was 85,000 yeah the both of them I want to say one more thing for the people who are mad at me because I am not, um, you know, putting the mod, uh, the mods into the description, is the reason why is, let me show you. Well, uh, when you get to the main menu of the uh, of the of the game, there is downloadable content. You go there, you go to the forestry equipment, and there is every uh, almost every mod that you need. So I'm not having this one. I have another one. This one, I think this is for uh, crossplay. Yeah. So you, if you have somebody that is uh, that is uh, with PlayStation or uh, Xbox, or he's playing from, uh, for example, if you play from uh, Epic Games Launcher, or you're playing with, uh, you know. Uh, let's say Steam. Uh, I think you're gonna need the crossplay as well. I'm not very sure, but uh, usually crossplay function that way. All that kind of mods are in here, guys. So once again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one who already subscribed for the channel. Please don't be uh, like 90% of the you know the viewers and subscribe for my channel thank you so much share the video with your friends and i'll see you in the next video bye bye